basically what we do is we use different solutions that are compatible for cells. This is the printer um, cartridge. And this is the printer cartridge. So we have Leanne Lang is working on a PhD in mechanical engineering. Machines fascinate her. Lately, this one's been taking up all of her time. It's a 3D printer that should be able to produce human skin from a patient's own cells. When this prototype is ready, the cells will go into what are essentially inkjet printer nozzles. Then they'll combine with a biological gel that should produce enough skin for a graft for patients with severe burns. In general, we're not so we're very disconnected to uh, to burn. It's not something you, you really come across that much, and so to to see the impact and and the, the intricacy of how you, skin needs to be regenerated, how. Uh, how the, the time scale is very important in terms of saving someone's life, so there's a lot to, uh, yeah, to take into account. Yeah. Burns are horrific injuries. At present, skin is transplanted from another part of the body onto the burn. Healing is slow, scarring is common. Doctors who work with burn patients say Leanne Lang's invention could be the biggest breakthrough for them since antibiotics. So we can exactly mimic your original skin resulting in a very complete healing or even maybe I, I improve cosmetic healing, meaning almost no scar. And not just skin. It might be possible to use the technology in Leanne Lang's printer to produce entire organs for transplant. It's an example of what can happen when scientists from many different fields work together. We're engineers, I'm trained as an engineer, and uh, graduate students and postdocs and researchers involved in this project are trained from different angles, from uh, cell biology, material science, uh, building microsystems, right? And so it is important that these diff different disciplines work together to create something that's new. The inventors hope to produce a device that is relatively cheap and portable and could save the lives of burn victims around the world, especially in poorer countries. That could make it one of the biggest and most productive steps forward for 3D printing technology. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.